Welcome back to another tutorial. In this quick video, we're gonna be talking about our video and image analysis suite. We'll be going over all the basics in this quick overview, but if you want more specifics on the individual features, check out our other content that we've got prepared for you. So let's dive in. All right, so here we are reviewing a video. Once you review a video or even a photo, these analysis tools are going to come up. On the right-hand side, you can see all of your drawing tools. On the bottom, you've got your speed control with the wheel, as well as frame-by-frame -frame arrows. You have general speed control for playback on that right-hand side as well. If I wanna draw a shape, can do that very easily by selecting that shape. If I want to resize it or move it, just tap it, move it around, and I can also resize it. To delete or adjust what just happened, you can either hit the back arrow, or if you hit the delete trash can, it'll trash everything on the screen. One of the most popular drawing tools is angles. You can see I can manipulate those angles once they're highlighted and I can drag them over. Once I tap out, you can see that angle is no longer in control and I can add other shapes. Let's trash all of that. If I wanna zoom in, just pinch, move it around, and you can see I can reorient the video to however I choose. So now let's dive into some more of the advanced features and use cases here. The timer tool is something I really like. Outside of its obvious uses for something like track and field, you can actually use it for tempo or measuring the overall time it takes for you to swing the club or do a particular motion. And you can see here as I take the club back and through, it's tracking the time of that part of the video instead of the totality of the video. I think that's something super cool. The last thing I wanna show you here what, before we get into versus mode is our new skeletal tracking. You can see once I click that, it will add nodes for each joint and coming soon, there's gonna be a lot more upgrades here, but this is an awesome feature to give you a better visualization of what's happening. Quick notes, try to only get one person on screen at a time and get the subject pretty close. If you go really far away on multiple subjects, it's gonna have a hard time but as long as you orient it in somewhat of a normal fashion, you're gonna have a lot of fun. In order to switch it off, just hit the little person button and then you're back to where you were. So let's jump quickly into versus mode. If I hit the VS button here, it's gonna allow me to pick another piece of media to compare this one to. I'm gonna scroll down. Let's say we get this one here. And now I've got two videos stacked up. If I rotate the phone, it'll put them side by side. If I hit the link button here, it'll now link both videos together. Super handy when doing comparisons. If I move up to the right, you're gonna see a button that looks like two sheets of paper. Let's hit that. And now you have overlay. Now, obviously it helps if the camera angles are pretty similar, but it's an awesome way to showcase how things are progressing. To select certain videos, you can move the slider and you can see that they change here. Very cool. Now, I'm gonna hit the versus button one more time and it's gonna stack everything up. Again, I can reorient on the screen. By hitting the button in the upper right, I now have the opportunity to change videos, remove videos, I can trim them, I can flip them back and forth, I can swap them from top to bottom. This gives you a lot of control during a voiceover to control the content, so you're giving the most optimum feedback to your athletes. So we're nearing the end here, but there's three more features I wanna show you. One is the microphone. That is how you're gonna record a voiceover. I can't do it for you now because we are sharing the screen in this way but no, that's how you kick off the recording. It'll record everything on the screen. If I find a particular frame of the video that I really like, let's say this kind of backswing comparison, I can hit the camera button and this will allow me to take a snapshot of what's on the screen, add it as a reply or even a new post. Last feature here, as we get to the home stretch, this is one of the most popular features we have and that is coach cams. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna click the little person icon underneath the skeleton and boom, we are now launching the camera. This is an awesome way to give feedback to one of your athletes. If I click on the actual image of myself, it makes it bigger. I can make it go left to right. I can even make it go landscape. So as you can see, lots of analysis features here. We've got other videos that will go into each specific feature in a shorter version, but I really hope this overview gave you a good sense of what's possible. So now all that's left to do is for you to give it a try with your athletes and let us know how it's going. If you need any help, please let us know. See you next time.